Noi has started buying more plants. Even though we have tremendous amount of greenery around here. The three plants on your right, she says, put out something that mosquitoes hate. So when those plants are around, mosquitoes don't come around. That's what she says. The other ones are just flowers. They're, they have looked better in the past, but they'll reflower again. As you can see, some of the flowers over there are green. They'll turn more and more pink on the one second from the left. Why am I bringing this up? Because Noe said you should shoot these, so I'm doing it. Welcome. Going carnivore in Thailand. I waited too long to make my video. There's a little baby screaming in the background from across the street. It's amazing how these little babies this big can create so much noise, but it seems to be the case. Anyway, what do we have on a carnivore front? Yesterday, because of the stakes getting here too late, they really hadn't sous vide long enough to be put into the freezer prior to searing. So, last night I didn't actually have a steak. I had some, uh, what I have? I had some ham and cheese. Not the best. I could have done better. But it would have took Noy a while to defrost and cook up some chicken. And to be honest, I wasn't extremely hungry. And I'm trying not to eat heavy too late. If I miss it, I just skip it unless I'm starving. And if I'm hungry, then I'll eat something else. But I didn't get my steak, so I intend for my first meal of the day today around noon to eat a steak. And uh, it's usually better, and I haven't done this, but I think it's probably better to eat your bigger meal earlier in the day. A lot of s people smarter in health than me claim that to be a fact. So I don't mind it. Uh, especially eating carnivore because when I eat carnivore, it fills me up, but it doesn't slow me down. When I eat carbs, you know, a big carb load at noon means a good nap at two. And I'd rather just carry on and do other things. Yeah. Here's a little tidbit I just heard. There are 52 countries in the world who have inflation rates higher than 10%. 52 countries in the world. That's hard to believe, right? And more than 50% of the people worldwide, globally, live on the equivalent of less than five U.S. dollars a day. So some of these countries that are affected by high inflation rates also are affected by people living a lower standard or lower quality of life on a lower income level. Uh, you know, the, the minimum wage here in Thailand is probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 US dollars a day would be like a minimum wage. But don't kid yourself, there's a lot of people operating real close to that here in Thailand. Not everybody, but there are a lot of people that have sort of minimum wage positions. 
So anyway, that's my going carnivore uh, bit for today. By the way, yesterday I did have eggs and bacon for breakfast, which is great on a carnivore diet and always tastes good. Uh, other than that, that's all, folks.